Okay. We'd like to welcome John Rahm to the interview room here at the Mexico, Media, uh, Mexico Open at Vedanta. Um, John, you're obviously the defending champion. Uh, you've won the Masters. You're the FedEx Cup leader. You're the world number one. That's a pretty nice resume to have right now. But obviously you played uh, the Masters in RBC and then took a week off. What has that week off been like for you? Do you feel refreshed, ready to go this week to defend your title? <laughs> You know, I, I wish I could say one week off was enough. Uh, it was a long Masters and then went right away to RBC, so it wasn't... I wish I could have rested a little more, but it, it is it is the life we signed up for, right? I probably didn't help by celebrating the Masters win on Tuesday. That, that delayed the, the recovery a little bit, but uh, it's always good to be home, you know, acknowledge what I've done, and then be able to come to a place like this. I mean... This in itself, even though it's a competition, you are in such a relaxing spot, such a great resort, you know, great amenities, great food, great people, great weather. So, you know, uh, there's a lot worse places to be than this one. So I'm, I'm glad to be back and I'm glad to be in, in, a, in a good form this year. You mentioned the celebrations. Can you give us an idea of what that might have been like for you and your family and friends? I think you can... I think everybody can, you know, imagine what it was like. Uh, I won't be speaking of it too much. Obviously, the the Masters took a toll physically with all the delays and suspensions, and then, you know, having to, to grind out the tournament following any time after you win a major. Particularly, that's that's pretty difficult. How how are you mentally ready to go? Are you pretty clear headed, ready to play this week? Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, I think playing Hilton it helped get in competitive mode right afterwards. Uh, I think in a weird sense it did help. So uh, I'm glad I went. It was a lot of fun, played good golf, and like I said, feeling feeling good with, with the game where it's at right now. And uh, I've, uh, I've only been able to defend the Spanish Open as a professional, so it wouldn't be the worst thing if I can make the Mexico Open be my next, uh, my next defense. I wanted to ask you last year when you won here, mm -hmm. um, I think your previous victory before that was the, the U.S. Open, which was pretty much an 11-month span. Mm -hmm. How significant was getting the victory after that? Um, and uh, what, what you know during that 11 months, what did you do to get to the point where you could win again? <laughs> well, it, technically, I, I shot the lowest score in the Tour Championship, which I still count as a win. Um, but I played really good golf afterwards. That's the thing. I played really quality golf, a lot of top tens. I just couldn't get it done. So to be able to come here and and go wire to wire, right? Take the lead on Thursday and, and, and never give it up and never really be trailing from that point on was, was big. And, you know, to get it done in any Spanish-speaking countries makes it a lot more special. There's always a little bit of added extra pressure, extra motivation for me to want to want to win. So it was big. It was big. And... Uh, you know, uh, I played a little bit better golf after this one last time, and then uh, it wasn't until the fall that I won again. But but it was big. You know, you want to get the next win after a major right away. Just if you can get it done, just you know, just for for the for the state of the game, for your own state of the game. Just a few more questions in English, and then we'll come to Spanish. Um, when when you um, when you won that, did was there anything specific in your game? that kicked off that epic run, like once you won here last year? Did you change anything during that 11-month period? Did no. you work on something that was specifically changed? No. No. Nothing. Just it, a it's, combination of a lot of things coming together? It's golf, period. Um, it's golf. I didn't really change anything actively. Uh, I had lifestyle changes. Right. We, yeah. our, our newborn was, was becoming more of a toddler, then Kelly yeah. was pregnant again, so a lot of things that changed outside the game of golf, but nothing, nothing golf-related. Um, with four wins this season, including the, the major championship, do you net, do you you know have to reassess the goals that you oh, maybe yeah. had at the start of the season? And yes. How do you change that? Um, I yeah, I had to reassess them even before winning the Masters. Uh, one of my goals for earlier in the year, I mentioned it a couple of times, was to win multiple times again on the PJ Tour, and I won my first two events. So uh, after LA, I kind of had to. You kind of need to reset because. I mean, I was getting close to accomplishing everything I had set my mind to. And I like being able to, if you have to reset or refresh your goals, it's an amazing thing because that means you're exceeding your expectations. So uh, I did have a day with my mental coach when we talked about things and reassessed and, and refocused on what we wanted to accomplish in the year. Uh, so, yeah, I had to do it, which, again, it's a wonderful thing to do.
and just a couple more from me. Um, the fact that you're a Spanish-speaking you know, Masters champion, being here at the Mexico Open, how meaningful is that? How important is that this week? It's meaningful. It's meaningful. Obviously, I would love for this to be something I'm doing in Spain right now that's, that's close to, to, to the Masters, but this is the next closest thing, right? Uh, the Mexican crowd and the Mexi Mexican people have always accepted me, not as one of their own, but you know, as a, like, like you just mentioned, as a Hispanic playing golf in the Champion Masters. Uh, they've taken me in very, very well. So if I can be an inspiration to any, anyone, is great. And if I can be an inspiration to somebody who maybe didn't have the means to play golf for Leon, it's even better. So uh, I'll take whatever it comes. And last one for me, do you have the green jacket with you this week? No. Okay. No, it's, <laughs> it's at home safe. I just want to clarify that. If there's any questions 